Greetings, Laddingtons. I just got back from Temple of Iron. Had an excruciatingly glorious session. Actually did 5 repetitions at 220 kg in the deadlift. All time PR. Feels good man dot JPG. It might have something to do with the fact that it is full moon. But I will elaborate further on this in a coming video. Uh, because I filmed the set too. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. But let's get into the episode. We are here at this heroic place. Hello, mate. Highly aesthetic, lion. You can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. That is uh, very true indeed. Kettle die and kinsmen die. But there is one thing I know which never dies. And that is the fame of a dead man's deeds. Tell me why we're here. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothothos? The battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There is nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. There he is. Glorious King Leonidas getting swarmed by the Persians. An uh, intense scene indeed. Absolutely epic. Herodotos. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. What happened to the traitor? What happened to the traitor, Hephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. But treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. Why was Sparta alone that day? Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. 
But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. That is an absolutely heroic choice. What happened to Leonidas? What happened to Leonidas after the battle? The Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. You knew the spear would do that. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. Who are the people who came before? You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. All right, mate, let's go, champ. We sail to Andros. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Absolutely aesthetic place yet again. That's because I'm such a fan of these sights. And there she is, an absolute beauty of a ship. So, um. Aboard the Adrestia, will you be traveling with us? Only for a short time. Indeed, he will. But uh, this wasn't part of my plan. Alright, I utilized a little edit there because I thought about elaborating on whether I can recommend this game. And uh, Barnabas, the mad cunt, started talking, and then I got interrupted, and then I didn't want to interrupt the game. So. I commence a little edit and here are my thoughts on whether I can recommend this game or not. And I will say that it is a good game. I have enjoyed playing it thus far. Uh, I've played some offline so to speak as well so that I haven't uploaded in a let's play. But uh, I would also say that it's very important that we give feedback to Ubisoft so they know that we don't particularly appreciate certain elements. So for example something I probably thought was the most annoying thus far at least is the um, are all of the female bandit leaders etc. Uh, first and foremost I don't really want to kill women even in battle even in a video game it just it feels wrong and it looks wrong and it's not historically accurate so that is something I would definitely change and I hope Ubisoft listens to uh, to the future to have it a bit less less females involved in um, in battle etc now that being said you can definitely have a lot of female characters doing regular female stuff there is uh, plenty of intrigues etc that you can have storylines and quests uh, revolving around but uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, the fighting I'm not particularly a fan then there is the aspect of a few sexual semi-degenerate encounters also in the game. I am not overly prude when it comes to that, uh, even though I have a hard stance against porn, I don't really mind in in films and games if it is a bit of nudity, if it's a bit of um, intimacy, etc. But some um, 
some of the scenes requests have been a bit a bit on the edge for uh, my taste. Not a big deal, though it's not game breaking, but uh, uh, something that perhaps could um, could have been a bit less of. And uh, then in regards to the good things, obviously, as we saw with the um, Leonidas thing there, it's um, highly aesthetic in that regard. You get good sense of of history, even though there are parts that aren't really historically accurate, you still get a good sense of it. And uh, especially the first episode that um, we had a really cool opening. So to give my verdict, I can recommend it, but I don't think it's perfect. If you haven't played any games but you want to start, I would probably recommend The Witcher 3 before uh, playing this game. And then Skyrim, obviously. So there are games that are definitely better, but since I am a fan of Assassin's Creed, I thought Hello, this was a uh, good idea to play this. So anyway, let me know in the comment sections if you want more episodes or if you want me to do Let's Plays on another game. Um, I do have Kingdom Come Deliverance, so I might play an episode there to just uh, show it off a bit. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, comment below if you uh, or what kind of game you would like me to see, what kind of game you would like me to play next. XOXO, boom.